Now we are back in TDEST for mean of one group. There are many different types of TDEST, right? So let's say cells. We have value of cells. And we want to say that mean cells is 400,000. Okay, the one sample t-test. One sample t-test, we have a continuous variable and we have another data in our mind. Right? Do you remember? It's okay if you don't remember. So here, we have to define the value that we have in our mind. So we have cells and mu is the population mean that we believe to be true and then we just run this and we will get some value okay so now the mean cells in our data is significantly different from 4000 right it is 5000 in, in our data the mean is 5000 and that is significantly Actually, it is significantly different at 10% level, not 5%, right? As you can see here. Okay. Then we have mean comparison for two groups. We have two store sizes, right? So we will write t test, the common the same. Cells, this symbol is used for regression. When you use this symbol, it means you regress this on this. This is the dependent, this is the independent. Okay? Whatever on that side is independent, right? So we run this, and again, we get a mean difference. There is a significant difference in the mean of cells for these two store sizes. When you have ANOVA, when you have more than two categories, which actually we do not have in, in this data, we have, uh, like, for store size, we have two categories, not three. But normally, we use ANOVA when we have more than two categories, and we want to compare their means, right? Then the command is allow ANOVA. And one way of doing it is just you say LM. LM is for linear regression. Cells is the dependent variable. And your independent variable, you it is a factor. When you have more than two categories, it's a, you define it as a factor. So the factor command is used to define it that it's three categories. Okay. If you don't define it as a factor, then it will count three numbers as three values of independent variables. Okay, so we have to define it as a factor. Actually, in this case, it doesn't make sense, but we are doing it just to show that it works. And this is how our ANOVA results look like, right? And we can see that there is a significant difference between these two groups that we considered in a store size. One last thing, OLS regression. So for regression models, you have to define a model. So here I'm saying marketing model equals to LM is for the linear regression. You have your dependent variable here, cells, and independent variables are here, price, promotion, and temperature, right? So you run it, when you run it, your model is estimated, but you do not see the results. To see the results, you have to give a command, summary command, and your model name. So then we run it, and then we get some nice results here. So it gives us the mean, median, and all these things, coefficients, intercept, yeah, p-values, and also it gives you like this is this is nice if it's less than 0 0.001 you can just this one actually you can more or less copy from here directly and put it in your paper yeah more or less uh, you get the r square here as well 